Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a couple of products from Glorious. Uh, these were sent out to me for review. Uh, we have a Glorious Raptor that is a clicky switch. Yes, this is the first time I am reviewing a clicky switch. So things should get interesting. So the, this is the palm stun of the Glorious Raptor. Now it does come pre-lubricated, but the lubrication I found was only on the stem of the rail, as well as the rail guides inside of the stem. Now it does have uh, a polycarbonate top housing and a nylon PA12 bottom housing. The spring is made out of nickel plated stainless steel and has a force of 62 grams. Has an actuation force of 55 grams and a bottom out force of 70 grams. And it has a bottom out distance of 3.9 millimeters. So I think that, yep, it looks like it has a bit of a long pull, but just by a tenth of a millimeter or so. So, <clears throat> Out of curiosity, because I do hear ping. I mean, I know it's got the click bar. This this is using the click bar mechanism. So you can see that that extra stem comes out here and basically just presses down on the bar and makes it do the click sound. I'm not doing a very good job because I'm not passing it by. But I just wanted to see out of curiosity I add some I went ahead and just lubricated one because normally it does have a ping and I'm not I think probably only the click bar is coming through but it does have a, a ping I put a little bit of um, lubrication on the back of the leaf springs as well as the spring and now all I can hear is the click bar. I don't hear any ping. So it, it I find it curious because I mean I, I don't know. It, it, to me, if it's factory lubricated, you're lubricating more than just the where the stem touches the bottom housing it, there should be some at least on the spring but that's just me so today we're going to be loading up the glorious raptor switches onto a dmmk pro that i i did a an upgrade with the flex kit and it gives you a different bottom uh different material for the core for between the plate and the pcb and pc plate and it's definitely flexier i think it sounds much better but we're going to go ahead and do it with all the foams and do a test of the clickies the glorious raptor clickies so i i found the way that these are packed a bit interesting they're just in a ziploc baggie uh, usually because i do believe these are made by gatoron though i could be wrong but as you can see instead of it being a tray it's just a folded up ziploc baggie with the switches haphazardly well arranged to the words they're all just one layer but they're not on top of each other all right so we've got all the switches out i'm going to go ahead and load up the board and then we'll get to the keycaps Now that we've got it all loaded up, I want to see what the RGB looks like. Oh yeah, that is definitely shining. You definitely see the light. It's even 
bouncing off and hitting the interior. I've got to say, I'm actually, I'm actually a fan of how they sound. I could see myself using this, honestly. I, it's not it's not at all bad. Um, I'm surprised, because usually clicky switches, I'm just like, throw them in the bag, just back in the bag. But usually they're click jacket clickies. And click jacket clickies, I don't know. They just, to me, to my ear, it sounds like something's broken, like something's wrong, something's off. But with these, it's more like, a heavy tactile it's like it's like a, a tactile on on steroids <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but that's kind of how I'm feeling about it but I gotta say I am more impressed than I thought that I would be uh, with these switches until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on